We have we have a dairy man here to my right and we have a Belfast man to my left. In the red corner from Garda Mafia, County Derry, a painter in the Mount Vernon Hospital. Let's hear for Gary Tracy. Mason from Belfast, also Paddy, we have Paddy McKenna! Paddy McKenna of Belfast, Gary Tracy of Derry. Both guys from Ireland, this should be fun. I wonder if they like each other. <laughs> they're just across the border from one another, but I expect that they're both pretty friendly. They're, they're all part of the same training group here. It's a very close-knit community here, Jimmy, with the Irish and Irish-American community in our area. Well, we can see right off the bat that, that these fellows have a little bit more experience, moving the hands in a very professional manner, excellent yeah. balance and movement. Paddy's very busy with his jab. He's really pumping it out there. Gary's nice and calm. He's not phased. Paddy definitely boxing like a guy who's been in the ring before. Yeah, great footwork there on uh, on Paddy. Paddy's got some good good footwork. Gary's nice and calm. Gary's controlling the center of that ring, though. Jimmy, did you ever have an opportunity to box in Ireland as an amateur or a pro? I did. I fought twice uh, as an uh, amateur over there. I fought at the uh, Adair County Fair in uh, in Limerick. It was. Um, 1989, I fought uh, Paul McQuigan. Huh? No relation. <laughs> no relation to Barry. Uh, it was a great fight. I, I did win over there. And I went back over to Dublin when I was 19. It's a good time. It's a good time. It's that was all set up by uh, the Father Joe Young Association. Mark Porter, the primary man behind the Battle of the Bay here, has brought several... American teams over to Ireland and Irish teams over to here for amateur competitions over the last few years. And it's always a great experience, as you obviously fondly remember. Oh, yeah. Good spirited round here yeah. between nice. Gary Tracy and Patty McKenna. They're mixing it up good. It's pretty even. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Good skills from both men. And Hall of Famer Sean Mannion doing an excellent job refereeing. A good referee is there when he needs to be and is out of the action when he's not needed. And Sean does very well. Good to see him in the ring. I haven't seen Sean in a while. I'll have to talk to him later. <laughs> Sean was kind enough to box an exhibition for Battle of the Bay right, three Michael years Culbert. ago. Yes, against Mike Culbert. I seen him. It was a great job. Considering how long it had been, he uh, he definitely still has it. Sean knows what he's doing in there. Oh, yeah, he does. He's a commander in that ring. Here we go. Round two. Gary Tracy, Patty McKenna. Patty again starting out nicely behind his jab and circling to his to his left. Nice, nice jab there by Patty. Patty's being first pretty much most of the night. Ooh, Gary just caught him with a nice right hand. And extra. Here we go. Now they're mixing it up. Both fighters exchanging. Very nice. Patty's definitely more comfortable on the outside behind his jab. He can hook off the jab a little bit. His right hand tends to fall a bit short, but very, very nice left hand he's got. Who's this, Patty? Patty, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. He's got good footwork, but he's staying on the outside, on the outside of the ring, and you know Gary's controlling the center of that ring. It's very important. Patty's going to be—he's going to get tired faster. Yes. He's, he's doing all the moving around on his feet. Gary's staying nice and calm, relaxed, center of the ring. Oop, now Gary's got him in the corner. Gary wants to be on the inside. That's where he's the most comfortable. 
like most fights, Jimmy, the guy who controls the distance that he's comfortable with is usually the guy that's going to make out the best. That's right. End of round two. We have the Kitty, the Shogun, the Austin Pass, we have the Shit, O'Brien, the Armor Carpet Yeah. and we have all of it, all five sheets. All right. The Lady Pass from Vegan Pass. Are you going to burn all of this stuff down tonight? Yeah. Gary Tracy, Patty McKenna. Gary's coming out fast. He's trying to work Patty into the corner. Oh, here we go. Gary's letting it all out right here. Wow. Wow, what an exchange here in the corner right in front of us. Both fighters landing big punches there. On the inside, they're not afraid to exchange in there, yeah, Jimmy. No, they're not. Gary's, he's doing a little bit better here. Uh, I think Patty might have ran out a little bit of gas. He's not being first like he was in the first two rounds. Like you said, he put on a few miles those first two rounds. Yeah. Up on his toes, moving a lot. May have, may have tired his legs out a little bit. He doesn't have that spring in his step just yet. He's still winging in there, though. Great match. Ooh, nice, nice stiff jab there from Gary. Uh, ooh, another one. There you go. Patty just landed a few punches. Oh, here comes Gary back at him. This is a great match. A lot of punches being thrown here by both these fighters. Good job, man. Let's hear Excellent fight, Jimmy. Excellent. Very, very, very well matched bout. Very even. You know what's great? These guys are coming out here. You know, they're having fun out here. Now they gotta get up and go to work in the morning. But they're out here and they're raising money for, uh, you know, Fighting Chance Foundation, which is raising money for cancer. It's great. Yeah, they're having a great time, and, and these guys all train for three months, where they probably would have paid a hundred dollars a month to train. They train for free. Tim Stanton, kind enough to make TNT Boxing Gym and, and Braintree available to everyone. TNT Boxing and Braintree. Yep. Michael yeah. Roddy up here in the red corner. Trained this group with a bunch of volunteer coaches. They worked very, very hard. Everybody came in here a little bit chubby after the holidays and came in lean and mean and ready to fight. Yeah, they trimmed down pretty good. <laughs> 